So today what I am going to be replacing is the headlight switch because about a week ago it burnt out on me. So if usually whenever you pull it once you got the marker lights then you pull it out again you got headlights. But as you can see I have no headlights. And apparently that happens because the wiring gets old. Shut that off. Wiring gets old and over the years it tends to burn out this switch. And so I got a replacement right here. And I'm going to show you how I put it in. As you can see it's very simple. I got off Rock Auto for about 10 bucks. Just came in today. And I'm going to put it in. So yeah. First thing you're going to need to do is take out this cigarette holder. And you got a little button in here that just pops it out because there is a hidden screw back here because you got to take <clears throat> this whole bottom piece off. And it screws here, here, all the way across. And you pull that off and you'll be able to get underneath here to pop this out because we're going to have to reuse this switch part. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and take off my CB radio because it is mounted to it. Of course, if you don't have a CB here, you don't have to do that, but, so, I'm going to get that off and we'll proceed from there. Now that I got it down here, I can go ahead and take out these screws. Now, if you want to get back here to this screw, you can easily just put the emergency brake on, pop this back and get a screw in, but what I prefer to do, because you got to get to this one anyways, is pop it off. Now what you do, is you just push this button in and pull up. Now, if you've never done this before, you may have to give it a little bit of elbow grease because it will be stuck on. So let me get this bottom panel off and we will proceed from there. And to my knowledge, all you're going to need as of now is just a Phillips head screwdriver. Any one will work. Okay, I almost got all the screws off. I just got that one over there. I also forgot to mention that under here, there will be, where is that? There's going to be a screw right here. There should be one right there. I don't know why there isn't. And there's going to be one on the other side. So once you get those off, you can just pop this panel off. And with all the screws out, you should be able to just pull on it. And it'll come out. Like that. So that will give easier room to get to that switch. Now you just need to pop this over make as much room over here as possible. Yeah. Okay, unplug some stuff. There we go. Now, let's see. That should be it. Oh, that should be enough room. So what you're gonna wanna do is try and peek under here. It is a really weird spot, but let's see. You can see it easier better here, but right in that hole is where you gotta put your finger up and push a little button. Like this one, to be exact. This one that's poking out, if I could get it to focus. Like that. Press that out, and then you're gonna pull the uh, this part out, because we're gonna reuse that. So, like this. I stick my hand under there and press. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if I can get Let's see if I can get it. There we go, like that. Just like that. Now it's gonna be buzzing forever. So next, we gotta get this retaining screw out. This is the only thing holding this in. Let me see if I can do that with a flathead. Also gonna pull this damn thing out because it's so annoying. There we go. So now with that, I'm gonna take this flathead and try and turn it. And it broke free. Just like that. And we're gonna screw this on to the new one. out Let's see that anyway, there we go so there's our screw now it looks like it's ready to fall out 
Now, the easiest way I guess I'm gonna do it is you put your finger back in there and you push it out. Or try and grab. Let me see if I can do that. See if I can reach my hand back up there. There we go. Just gotta reach my hand back there and grab it. Maybe. Give me a second. Now, if I would stop having a full storage, you it looks like you pull that ground wire off there and it pulls off from the rest of the harness so let me do that real quick and we'll see i actually got to come around so you can actually see how to do it so yeah ground wire in those connectors and i got it out now of course it being original i had to pry it out with my flathead screwdriver but you can tell the difference and it looks like something actually burnt right there which isn't nice but we got a fresh new one and my headlights may even be a bit brighter who knows I guess we will find out. So I am going to just plug it back in because I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to record. Plug it back in, snake it back up here. I'll put back on the retaining screw and we will see. So I'll back. Now that I got everything on, I'm going to pop this back in and see if my headlights work. So it's pushed all the way in. Let me go see. Oh. And there it is, headlights. That is a nice thing to see. So I'm going to pop this back out and slide it back in here. See how that goes. Alright, so getting this screwed back in and holding this back here at the same time was kind of hard, but it was done. So now all I gotta do is put this in. Pop it like that, and headlights. I am so happy. Let's see. There's not even any resistance like there was last time whenever I turned the dome light on. That, here, that's awesome. Cool, so now we can get rid of this because it don't work, so yeah. I'm gonna plug this thing back in against my better judgment. And yeah, that should be it. We're gonna just pop this back together. This is gonna be fairly easy. Don't worry about this wire. This just goes with the CB radio. I need to reconnect it up there. But yeah, that is how you replace your headlight switch. Now, hopefully this thing lasts for another 30 years. That would be really nice. Maybe even longer, because it's made out of better parts. So, yeah. That will do it. Until next time.